Yeah, I'm losing my edge. To hedge, how to hedge cryptocurrency. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a fun one. We've got Katie McGarrigal. She's hedged plenty of positions with futures in the past. If you're new to futures, you're new to hedging in general, maybe you're you know, a, a crypto hodler or you're just looking at investment in the space, we're going to show you today how to pretty easily use futures as a hedge for your cryptocurrencies because that was one of their first uses, their primary uses, Katie, and maybe you can speak to this, is low-cost hedges for big investments and how that lends uh, to maybe the S&P 500 is a good example, right? Yeah, I think it's a great example. And I think that this was one of the breakthrough moments for me when I was learning how to trade was, you know, when you see it on TV or when you're young and you've never taken like a trading class or whatever, like you just think I pick a thing and I'm just going with it. And it was really powerful to me to then be like, oh, I can pick this thing and have this relatively strong idea, but I can put some knee pads on if, you know, the velocity is too much or I can like slow things down a little bit by adding on, you know, a little bit of a something else to this position. So just the quick and easy way that like you can throw on a futures contract and get instant static delta to help um, soften your position is it's a really powerful thing in trading. And it's definitely like one of the things that is important if you're going to try to maintain like a trading as a, you know, a lifestyle rather than instant gratification type of thing. Keeps you in the game 100%. longer. Yeah, exactly. And also, as I'll speak to you in a second, it, it helps you make money in the different periods of the game before you get to that long-term goal of like, all right, now I cash out on my investment. Um, but with the example, like say you're long a bunch of stocks or say you're long the S&P 500 ETF or what have you, you have the S&P 500 futures, Katie, to like, I've got this long investment that started maybe this year, last year, or a decade ago. I can go to the futures and very quickly sell a future against my investment. It's going to cost me less. Sorry, I hit my mic. That's great. Cost me less because uh, the futures efficiency uh, there, Katie. But also, like you say, I can put it on and peel it off very easily. If I've got investment in a 401k, in an IRA, or even just in whatever brokerage account that I don't want to peel off, the futures, I can sell and buy back the same day or the next week can do it very easily and cost effectively. Same thing for something like the micro Bitcoin uh, futures here. Say I'm long one BTC, I can sell an MBT future. I only I put up less than 50% to in capital to trade that. And I'm hedging 10% at a time. The micro Bitcoin is one tenth Bitcoin. And so say Katie, I'm long, you know, one Bitcoin from 30,000 and the market gets up to 60,000, I can sell one, two, three MBTs and I'm hedging 10% of my portfolio at a time. And then I can buy them back lower. I'm like, I say, I'm profiting during the, you know, the swings of my long-term investment, because I'm likely going to hold my BTC for years and years and years. Why not make money in the short term on that long-term investment? Right. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, having a core idea and then you're adding a little bit of protection to it. You're, you're trading around it and it makes, and even think back to like your different, like if I'm long BTC and I think this market's going to go up in the long term, plenty of people, you can be long and be bullish on a market and still think, oh, 60,000 is overpriced. And, totally. and and not necessarily peel off that thing, go against myself, sell my one BTC and then get short a, a BTC. But I could be like, man, I'm going to actually hedge 50% of this. I'll sell five uh, micro Bitcoin futures. And then when the market falls from 60,000 to 50,000, I buy those back and I'm back at my 100% investment. Um, you can also though, Katie, and this might be more attractive, of course, hedging at the highs, is is really where it's at um, now that we're at the lows in uh, some of these cryptocurrencies for the last year or so. You can also use futures to open long positions for less capital, and then use something like options to hedge that investment. Have you looked before at uh, the small crypto futures against BLOK uh, options? Because I've been looking at this all week, looking at a long SCCX position and a short call in BLOK, which is a very highly correlated 
ETF to the small crypto index? I have not. Um, so I'm assuming that you're picking that particular contract or um, equity because it is part of the small futures contract or is it not? So Block is an ETF that holds a lot of the same names as small crypto. So small crypto has got okay. your Bitcoin and your ETH in there, but it also has you know PayPal, Coinbase, and some highly correlated equities to the crypto uh, space. And so Block, very highly correlated to that SCCX future. So I can get long that small crypto future put up. Um, I think it's only like $800 for more than $2,000 in crypto exposure. And then I can sell a call in the block.